Lydia, the games are coming thick and fast. We've played on Monday and we've got two games coming up this weekend. How have the, how's training gone this week? Um, training's been really good this week. It's um, nice to kind of reconnect um, after Monday. Um, obviously we're a bit disappointed with Monday, so it's nice to kind of regroup, get together um, and start a bit fresh. Um, so yeah, the environment's good, culture's good today, so yeah, exciting for the week. How have the team reflected on Monday's game? Um, so we've all done our analysis, we've had a look at it, we've all sat down and had a bit of a chat. Um, and it's just about building on from there, having a look at what we've put together and seeing what we can put right this weekend. And two games back to back, how challenging is that and how do you prepare for that? Do you focus on one team or is it more about your own performances? Yeah, um, I think for us right now it's you know looking at ourselves um, and what we need to do. Um, you know, back to back games are tough but it's going to be the same for everybody so um, I guess just making sure that we do the right things, um, resting, recuperating. Usually for you, you're here today training with the team because yes. obviously you combine your netball career with teaching. How, yeah. how can you just explain a little bit that to, to our fans? How you combine the two? Yeah, um, so I am a teacher. I teach full time at a non at a state school. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a challenge with the timetable sometimes. Um, so if I get, get here, I get here. But um, it's nice. I've got two weeks off, um, so I'm here most of the time. Um, you know, it's one of those things, you've got to be organised. I love doing both things, so if I can make both things work, then um, that's what I try and do. But, um, yeah, both, the, both groups are really supportive, which is nicer. And you joined the Rhinos this year, but it's kind of full circle for you because you actually started your career with Jets. What does it feel to be representing this Yorkshire Super League franchise again? Yeah, um, it's really nice. Um, I had quite a while out after um, Jets folded. Um, that's where I debuted and I had a couple of years with them, which was really nice. Um, you know, it was nice to have a break, do some other things, um, but it's really nice to be back. It's nice to be representing my region again. Um, and, you know, it was a big draw for me because last year when you watched the Rhinos, you know, you could see how, how well they got on. You could see the culture, like they just looked like they were having so much fun. Um, so to step into that has been amazing. So, yeah, it's nice to be back. And, and is it how you expected? Is that culture and how the team work together? Is it how you expected? Yeah. Um, you know, you always worry, don't you, that you work quite slot in somewhere or, um, but day one it was straight in there, felt a part of it and yeah, it's just, it's been fantastic since. We were in Hull at the weekend, I'm oh, sorry, we were in Hull on Monday and you could, we had a sellout crowd so you can see exactly what it means to the Yorkshire public yeah. to have this franchise. How proud are you to be representing Yorkshire and for it to be going around the county? Yeah, really proud. I think it's, you know, it's such a big region that um, it's quite special to be able to go around the region and you know give different fans access and um, you know cause it's really far to go from Hull to Sheffield and um, so yeah it's quite special to be able to do that and um, you know see different fans and be able to, to meet different fans and give them the opportunity to attend games um, so yeah it's nice and it makes it a bit more special being from Yorkshire as well. So. And, and just finally it's um, the Spring Showdown this week and what kind of occasion are we expecting from that? It'll be great for fans won't it? Um, yeah it'll be amazing. Um, we obviously sadly missed the um, opener um, so this will be big for us because uh, we've not experienced that this year um, and personally for me you know I've not experienced that for, for years so um, it'll be great, just lap up the experience and uh, enjoy it, enjoy the ride of the weekend.